We haven't been here for so long. What happened to this place? Welcome to Marmaris! Marmaris is a long resort with hotels stretching out a couple of miles around the bay, almost reaching the small resort of Itchmiller. I remember in 1988 the first hotels being built here on the coastline. Before that, there was only the old town. The rest of the area was farming or swampland. So it's a relatively modern resort and many newer hotels have been built since inland from the beach and shopping centres, bars and restaurants have followed. The beach front is traffic free except for a few annoying motorbikes and scooters but it's a lovely promenade that stretches the full length of the resort right round to the old town and it's a beautiful sandy beach all the way along it and it's buzzing in the summertime and we're all hoping for that again soon at the end of May so we all wait poised for this summer season to start The main boulevard going into the old town is flanked on both sides with shops, hotels, restaurants and bars and a blue cycle track. From Marmaris to Itchmiller there's quite a good bus service, very regular too. But as with many of these tourist places, parking is an absolute nightmare. It's better to either cycle or just get a taxi. The centre of the old town is traffic free and is always popular. Some of the streets are covered, which is great in the middle of the summer. The smell is delicious, making me hungry. There are shops selling everything here, including Turkish specialities, some street foods, herbs, spices, nuts and home produce. But one bag shop in particular caught Trudy's eye with the most unusual designs I'd ever seen. <laughs> She's definitely joking. How things change over the years. 33 years ago in 1988, this area used to be the hub where everybody used to congregate and that place there was what they called the milk bar. And a lot of you would probably remember that. And this area was full of tables and chairs with people eating and drinking every night. Nowadays the most popular area is the promenade around the castle region going up to the marina which is lined with lovely restaurants and bars but unfortunately at the time of recording this video there was a full lockdown due to Covid in Turkey and all the bars, clubs and restaurants were closed and only a few of them were doing a packet service. Boy, is there some wealth here? 
There are several marinas in Monmouth, and this one alone holds over 500 boats. In a normal tourist season, this would be a lively bar and club street, and popular till the early hours of the morning. There's certainly lots of interesting statues and features in the town. And there's some lovely water features here too, if you're lucky enough to see them working. It's nice to take a walk up the back streets on the way up to the castle because they're very pretty and there's a lot of blue and white going on. This pretty area is the most photographed area in Malmrys and has always been like this as far as I can remember. I'm lost. <laughs> it's easy to get lost as well. Eventually you will find the castle entrance. The castle has been restored over the last few years and it's got some interesting relics. get a pretty good view from up here even on a windy day. I oh, nearly lost my hat then. <laughs> and finding your way back can be just as interesting. We stayed at the Begonville Beach Hotel, a small family-run hotel, which has a beachside restaurant. We booked half board but many of the hotels around here are fully inclusive, which can work out more reasonable, especially for families. The most popular trips here are daily boat trips going around the other bays and also to Iztuzu Beach, Dalian and Karnos, the ancient ruins. Jeep safaris are also very popular, visiting local waterfalls and quaint villages around about. And there's plenty of places to try out some water sports too. There is also a popular beachside water park in the centre of the promenade. We're in a lockdown situation at the moment, so it's very difficult to get a real flavour of what Marmaris is like when everything is opened up. It's a lively resort, and if you like the all-inclusive, full-of-life resorts, then this is the place for you. We took a quick drive over to Ichmala to see what it was like over there in the lockdown, but we found it was closed up. That fish don't look very happy, I'm not surprised. <laughs>
we'll be covering Marmaris and the nearby resort of Ichmiller again when the tourist season has fully opened and everything is back to normal here. So that's all from Marmaris. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss where we go next. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.